All right, guys, I just checked my stream. This should be working. So let me put the music on, get my coffee ready, and we can start. <laughs> Well, wild unknown tarot. We didn't do this in a while. Happy Catter Day. What? Nobody's here today? Oh my gosh. So what's what's up, people? Come on. Like if I'm coming here. Like come here, I'm coming here for you. Mm. How are you, Kylie? Good morning, Stephanie. How is everything? How is going? Mm. Coffee's good. Hey Sally. How are you doing, sweetie? Hope everything is okay. Hey, Barbie. Happy Catter Day. Happy Catter. It's so nice and sunny in Toronto, guys. It's really, really, really pretty. So, okay. So, hi, Chris. Look at that. So, people are showing up. It's just like maybe I was like way too early. I have a really stiff neck. Luckily, it's like on the side. So, <laughs> I can look to the screen and and kind of like address it so do i need anything besides this i was just doing this last moment trying to get all of the stuff because i got tiger in and let's wash the paws and all this kind of like ritualistic stuff okay so tiger was lost last week he had party overnight i guess poor thing he was scared he was kicked by a person and uh so he's very apprehensive and uh, we had this like big ordeal so ah uh, it was the day when i released this newsletter that it happened so poor thing i had friends with me scouting the neighborhood so it was like ugh, quite a bit of things happening right so hey we have anita from netherlands welcome kylie is from australia i love this crowd chris is from california and i am in canada so sometimes we have another canadians but this is so amazing so which continent we are europe come on nobody from europe here what's going on europeans anybody no stephanie no she's you're here right stephanie in canada right so Hopefully they're going to join us in. So I made myself a nice cappuccino. And hopefully, guys, they're going to have a wonderful reading. 
I bought this like big chunk of oralite. I don't know, do you guys know about oralite? Oralite is a stone only found in Canada. So don't buy them from anywhere else. It makes no sense buying them in China. Uh, and they're like a mixture of 23 different minerals. As you can see, like there's clearly an amethyst and I mean, read on the, uh, everything on them. And this is basically when the earth started to form 1.8 billion years old. So we are like watching gods in action and they basically remove any negativity, they remove any entity that might be present and, and they actually heal not only me but any anybody who is currently here present so i don't know do you want me to leave it closer so you can see it you can emanate this it's kind of like really beautiful because it has this pyrite and some some of them also have the purple tips and this one the, 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 those get to be very expensive but this one doesn't have it but the pirate is also really good to be in so it's oh look at this there is a purple I don't know if you can see it, tiny little bit on the top so okay so we even so that's the highest and lowest of ratio like it goes with uh, with actually 12 chakras that is really working with so it's extremely powerful I'm going to put a few of other stones around here to to kind of like at least get the others I don't know I'm not feeling that's needed I'm feeling that kind of like the energy of this stone is like so strong I cannot even tell you about this hey angel fish so guys it's call, called aura light 23 it is responding to our aura that is why it's called it also has gold in it so double whammy so where do we start do I need my book to write for a Barbie if I can find my pens Oh, I clean, so I cannot find anything. Anybody else has the same issue when you clean? That you're kind of like lost. So let's do this. I even clean my notebook as well. So now I think I need to start from the scratch. And let me just give me a second to write all the signs. And I think that I erased the page where I had them all written. Of course I did. Yeah. Okay, Barbie. Barbie is going to say, what the heck you're doing? So, oh, you have the same stone on bedroom altar? Angel, so how long and did you see any, uh, any kind of like um, results out of it? And I don't know, guys, can you see this little kind of like, uh, this is not the sun. It's that little entity flying around. Can you see these little orbs? So let me start. I'm going to write this here. I was trying to be legible uh, for you, Barbie. So we are going to do it this way until I figure out what to do. So we are in Aries, Taurus, then Gemini, then Cancer, then Leo, then who is next after Leo Virgo? How is your Martian Scorpio, guys? What kind of week did you have? This was like a really interesting week. It was very stressful. Um, how was your week, guys, uh, while I'm doing this? Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Aquarius and Pisces. There, I am done. Yeah, you see, like, I mean, that's uh, angelfish. Like, I'm seeing this, and I have to show you a few nights ago, I was recording. I don't know if I can find it. A few nights ago, I lay down in bed and I started to see things flying things just simply flying through the freaking air and I started to record this and I don't know if you'll be able to see it at one point you will see a quite a big orb flying through somewhere here I think or am I am I showing you even the right thing is it this one 
I thought it was this one. No, maybe I guess it's not this one. Okay. Oh, it was this one. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw it fluid by somewhere here. You'll see it from this this side to this side. Because I thought I'm going nuts. I see. I was seeing these glimpses of it in the dark, and then I wanted to record it. And of course, now you're thinking I'm, I'm completely nuts. Not nothing is happening. I don't know if I if I pressed play. Or if I went too far, I guess I went too far. Oh, come on, it's only a few seconds. Da, 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 da. Where are you? I thought it was on 18 seconds. Yep. Okay, I am losing it now. Let me. Oh, there it is. It's it's earlier. Let's try it again. Did you see it? It just flew over. It was a rather rather big one, rather big one. So when I managed to get a still, it almost like was maybe size of four inches. And when I zoomed it in, it actually had a triangle inside of it. So I think it was a Merkaba. So it was like really yeah a cross top video. So, yeah, it's kind of like really interesting because like I can see quite a bit of that on the table happening over here. So it's it could be good news. It could be bad news. We will see um, because I used to even have the baby silhouettes crawling on the tables before and people told me hey, these are old souls. You need to help them find the light. So Internet stopped again. It shouldn't be doing this anymore. Not on my end. It was like horrible. I called my internet provider and they actually, it took them a day to fix it, but they fixed it. I'm going to refresh it on my end. Well, orbs are energy beings. So you have ghosts and ghosts basically uh, are not good entities. Ghosts leave, ghosts don't want to leave this planet for one reason or another. So maybe somebody wronged you and you want to hound them right so this is like you'll see it so if you have a little bit of eventual personality uh you know like you might become a ghost um and but after a while ghosts don't understand how come you know that they're not making an effect so they might become negative entity so sometimes they manage to latch on a person and I, you have seen it in exorcist and all this kind of haunting movies it's a kind of real thing guys it really happens and but then you have basically spirit guides and angels who are trying to communicate through electronics etc and that's why you see 11 11 2020 and orbs usually come to people who are star seeds right or who are like i mean indigo children that kind of stuff because it's almost like hey i'm from a different planet i'm just configuring you because there's kind of like apparently doing a mechanical work on you during night and uh, I wish they're doing a better mechanical work on me because I can use some shape up for my old bones. So let's start. Okay. Yeah, you know what? For the last, did you guys not see Mercury in retrograde? How bad this was? It was atrocious. I, I really was like so frustrated. This is going on. Um, it could be attached to the cards because you keep in mind that I'm doing lots of readings for the other people so I'm attracting lots of negativity and like emotional turmoil that people go through I channel it um, I sometimes cry during the readings because it really gets to me it's it's a when you process this you really process this is like you so imagine like going through it this is why I cannot do that many readings per day but um let's start let's start let's start let's start let's start so you guys can press f5 i don't know like i mean if you're on a pc if yeah uh, barbie like has a good suggestion get out if if you need to and come back so let me put here 14 25 aries aries we're going in order over here go in the order so anybody who's watching guys get your annual i am i i kind of like because of tiger i was like out for a few days because 
you need to decompress but other than that I'm still working on it I have to tell you ps, inside information I'm going to say this actually when I come to design uh, one sign is going to have a blast of a year blast so son of wands let me get my soda light so we can put this here yeah because like I'm feeling that this this works but when I had the uh, smoky quartz quartz and pink quartz it, it felt like oh my gosh like why are you even putting it here when this was like so overwhelming it just like didn't feel like even a slave to this energy of this one then you have ten of pentacles and you have the hermit so Aries something about um, energy like the sun and wands is like about getting busy doing things it looks like you'll be uh, really entirely focused on what you do for your family with your family um, and it's going to be entire focus which I guess maybe you have Thanksgiving and by the way happy Thanksgiving upcoming Thanksgiving to my uh, neighbors on the south so next week uh, it's not going to be a reading because you guys are from what I understand take a week off and then people just don't show up so what I also see here is that there is like um, some kind of like face you are almost like putting final touches of some sort and I'm, I'm wondering what exactly this is all about right because there is like a rush for you to finish something maybe you have been delayed during this mercury retrograde with a whole bunch of stuff and now you're feeling hmm you know what let me kind of like get through it let me kind of like move on in the in the next phase i'm going to grab my gypsy cards just, just in case if i'll need them so i mean here it's really clear but if i would know where i put my gypsy cards of course Hmm. I have these. Oh, they may be here. Tiger! 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 Yeah! <laughs> yeah! What are you doing? Did you hear my baby? My baby? So let's see. Let's just grab something for you guys over here and see what I get. And I got enemy reversed. Well, that's a good news for starters, right? So enemy is like never a good card when it's upright, of course. It's it's somebody lurking here, like I mean, waiting, uh, false friend, enemy, right? But this is kind of like indicating an end of that kind of like hostility or obstacle. And I can see that here and like Hermit is pulling in everything that you have been through and kind of like grounding it. So it's very important, right? So I really think that you, you are going to be in a highly protective mode. Maybe something was a close call. Maybe somebody was joking. You know how people say, ha ha ha, it's a, just a joke. And the meaning is like, look, you know, you know, it was not a joke and nobody's laughing, but them meaning like they're like antisocial, sociopathic, psychopathic, narcissistic, right? And of course you with your temperament and personality, you have nothing, uh, you want nothing to do with this, right? So this, means also that you're still alert that you still feel that maybe this person could reinitiate um the scrap they kind of like have been doing or subjecting you, you like you to um actually funny enough apropos that tiger when i found him he had a, a bite like a min on his chin and it was a pretty big one but uh, i'm pretty sure like by looking at it that the other guy got the really short end of the stick because where I live, at, like there is a forest, so we have deer, we have raccoons, we have coyotes, we have foxes. So he may have came, like I mean, face to face because coyotes are going door to door and trying to get food. It was a garbage night, right? So the next one would be Taurus. 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 Taurus, 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 so 
so there is like a foxy 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 seven of swords but we also have mother of cups and then we have ace of pentacles taurus are you feeling betrayed are you feeling that literally you have to sleep with one eye open kind of here that we see it i mean foxes are extremely smart animals i would never uh kind of like really say hey you know what let's kind of like uh let's kind of like uh, ignore this but it's also kind of like feeling that you have been on alert or maybe somebody was intruding i would say on let's call it on your territory maybe somebody was um this also kind of like suggests to me sometimes that you might be work issues that you have been experiencing maybe uh, you know, like, I mean, you have gray day, gray day, gray day, then, then you just show up and all of a sudden, like, I mean, this whole system explodes in your face and you're really wondering what is really going on. But I can see here that you really need soft place to fall, that you really need to kind of like reset yourself. I mean, Ace of Pentacles is a great news. Uh, you are saying to yourself, look, something is not working. Something maybe has been just a short term solution. You're looking for something that can last, that can be long term. And as usual, you kind of like when you make your decision, you're going in this direction anticipating obstacles but knowing that hey i'm getting there whether or not it's going to be this this way or it's going to be like that way but i am getting there sort of like it's pretty um clear that you are moving in a new direction my dear taurus so let me see over here yeah it could be a wolf and sheep's clothing over here um it clearly indicates somebody who presents themselves well that's why i wanted to kind of clarify that but they are not they are not thinking about your best interest and this one wanted to come out you see like i was like i was like really looking at it like i'm a dog and a fox and it's kind of makes no sense but then this came through it somebody's communicating behind your back somebody is telling you in the face uh, that they are like big friends so you guys uh, every one of us has uh, like EPS right this extrasensory uh, e ESP extrasensory per, uh, perspective and uh, perception so if you kind of like feel well this person is friendly on the on the surface I shouldn't be really saying anything but I am feeling something I am I'm not cool with that there is something going on then you're right then just kind of like get yourself busy, get away from this person, uh, etc. etc. Well, it couldn't be a dust because I didn't clean, uh, I don't have a wind source inside. I mean, of course, it can be like the sun caught something that glistened, but yeah, you know, and you might also see rainbows, but that comes from these uh, crystal balls that they have in a window. So my dear Taurus, uh, you will start this weekend with being alert, being alert, but you're going to give yourself this love. You're going to pamper yourself. You're going, you're kind of like uh, realizing that, hey, you know what? Like, I mean, if I'm not in a good frame of mind, I'm not going to deal with this properly. So you're kind of like setting your goals. You're saying like, I don't care what you want. I know what I want. And off you go you go on your side i'm going on my side so that is going to be uh, kind of like really highlight of your week that you're going to feel grounded and comfortable and everything will work well again so the next is gemini 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 You see, guys, like, I mean, I think it is the uh, aura light that is really uh, getting this through, right? Mm. You will probably see more of them. And camera really catches them, like, with the naked eye. I sometimes cannot see them. But you will probably be able to see them quite a bit of them. So this could be your spirit, guys. This could be people who are, who are basically suggesting stuff. So we will see. Oh, from the cards oh well cards are not dusty cards were in there i don't know you saw me taking them from the box right so cards are always protected 
Gemini is, hey, you have Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is this lovely Jupiter energy. There is like a turnaround point. You're going to feel that you're gaining, that you're winning, that you're advancing. Things are going to uh, go well. You know what? Like I'm after this, please Barbie, if I forget, lose my train of thought. I'm going to just honor these orbs and I'm going to do a quick reading because I think they want to send messages and to all of you guys. So we will see uh, uh, and I'm going to be reading the messages through different cards and we will see who and which one of you really needs to get them. So let's see this Wheel of Fortune. And then there is the Emperor Reverse. Check this out. Gemini, are you dealing with uh, Sagittarius? Or are you dealing with Aries? Are you dealing with a fire sign? Uh, or, or maybe even Sagittarius? Yeah, Sagittarius I already said. And then you have like a Six of Pentacles over here. This is all kind of like adding up to Scorpio. There's like something big going on over here. You're going to have a really fabulous start of a week, but then you're going to get angry. And I kid you not, you'll be really angry. Look at this, how really interesting this is. We have the sun here. It's almost like we are having this repeating mot motives here. Sun, and then it's kind of like blacked out sun over here. And then, even though these are pentacles like i actually can see them as a whole bunch of like mini suns that are kind of like position over there so it's almost like procession something that is really growing and something that is growing is this but it's growing in the opposite direction something needs to be derooted something uh, you maybe f feel that you're being pulled out from your own core um, but this is basically in your best interest like from what I'm seeing, and this is also karmic. It is bigger than you. It's bigger than your life. There are like other people who are influenced, who could be like I'm in mean, your past lives, coming from your past lives. Could could be like I'm in mean, spirits. It could be paid forward. Could be paid backward. But this is a card of generosity. So either you will rely upon generosity of the others, or you will be very generous, and you're going to try to kind of like. Um, ground yourself in that way toward the end of the week in order to land on your feet six of pentacles is not a bad card in the regular deck it's show it's shown like with a dude with a scale and kind of like giving charity to the poor and destitute but in this deck we are seeing growth and we are seeing that once when you grow out the, the fruit uh, of your labor, if you wish, except this one over here, the disposition up, it starts to lean down. It's kind of like you need to share it with others because it's going to drop on the ground and it's going to produce new thing, right? So we will see that. So let's see. So Wheel of Fortune talks priest. Well, priest is an interesting card it's kind of like weird right you get these cards and you really have to position yourself in the century where they have made them right so priests had ridiculous influence they actually were on the level of kings right it was like sort of like hey you have the money and you have the power because like that is like over here the emperor but I have the spirituality. I tell you about morality. You need to talk to me, and that's more important than what you have. However, with evolution, like this also started to represent legal opinions and regulations and decisions. So it could be that there are like some kind of like legal things happening that you were thinking and almost like kind of like counted your chickens before they kind of like uh, came home but something and somebody pulled the rug under your feet for some reason. So also guys, for some of you, this can mean inheritance. It could mean that siblings are fighting over inheritance kind of a thing. Uh, if this is work, this can indicate bad cop and a good cop at work. So, you know, some a boss and a HR kind of a thing and you shouldn't trust either you shouldn't trust either it's going to be tough I really have to tell you right so 
this is really telling us that we need to examine our own conscience and we have to see how much of a problem do we carry and how much of a solution do we really carry right so this rarely refers to really a specific person but I kind of like did see here that it could be somebody who let's say is telling you that you shouldn't be making a decision instead they will make this decision for you um, for one reason or another so it could be somebody greater in a community of some sort um, anyways it doesn't look like it's going to get your way and that you will have to make some kind of concessions about all of that for one reason or another so I did say that we will go into these messages right so let's do this and let me get the, these cards here they're different gypsy cards So, oh, your grandfather was a justice of the peace. Mm. Wow. Okay, guys, all of you, I need you to focus. This is not a question. I, I feel that all this orb that you were seeing, there's like somebody who needs to kind of send messages. Maybe it's, I, I actually seen one flying right now. So it could be to all of you. It could be to some of you. So please focus i'm going to just give you the cards because there is no question and i'm going to tell you uh, what it means and you guys have to tell me hey this is for me and this is for me yes this resonates and so on and so forth so let's see orbs spirit guides what are the messages that you have so the first message is unexpected joy, but it was reversed. So I would say, and, and like, I mean, as I was looking at the card, like what flashed before my, my eyes is like, not everything that shines is gold. And that's a direct translation basically from a proverb in my, uh, in my language, in creation language. And so it's basically saying that don't get distracted of some reason somebody's maybe getting distracted with gaining some money or maybe somebody's really worrying over uh, money too much it's basically telling this person that you your needs will be taken care of that you'll be okay and do not get sidetracked with that like that you're on the right path and don't kind of like worry about something. So I don't know, anybody kind of like is picking up on this message. Let's see, let's get a few more. Any other messages that you have for people present or that somebody needs to hear it? Oh my gosh, I'm getting two. <laughs> Any other message? Yeah, message about fidelity. Did somebody lost somebody recently over here. I mean, there is like this uh, undying loyalty over here look at him he's like sleeping on on his owner's grave not all the glitters is gold yes i guess it exists here as well so message from beyond i would say guys and maybe i'm just being told there's like somebody who who passed over who is basically present with us over here interestingly enough again we have this like fortune and saying fortune is going to come in different shapes it's it's it can be like i mean lots of money it can be a lots of communication over here it's either that and also what is this uh, it's a it's a butterfly or a rose that i see over here and i don't see a gender for one reason or another it could be even two different people from what I see over here and also the fact that the dog is white is making me believe um, that there is like a really white spirit which is really really good coming over here this could be a message for all of us I, I, I clearly can pick up on it because I'm getting lots of those so um, wow let's see if anything else I mean I'm getting shivers right now because this one is really um, hitting me as well okay so any other specific messages that we need to receive right now i can do this later spirits but this is going to be the last one for now well we have judge and then we have house is that anybody 
Is anybody here going through legal process of some sort? I mean, judge is is a good card. Judge really talks about um, again, like why do we have so much legal happening? Um, somebody might be going through legal uh, process of some sort. Maybe there is like I mean division of property. Maybe there is inheritance over here. There's clearly something that has to involve judicial system of some sort. Maybe something really uh, happened that was clearly in the house that needs to be dealt with. I mean, it, it's an encouraging, uh, basically, um, combination because judges like justice, right? It says, basically, we are going to find a solution about that. It's kind of like really, uh, really important to kind of like look at that way. But house is really talking about security and um, responsibilities and independence and self-reliance, right? So it's kind of like talking about a stable environment. This kind of like seems to be monumental house over here. So it can talk about stability, but this also can actually say um, there is going to be some kind of reconciliation, I would say. And I don't know, maybe um, stress is going to go away. So this is like the, the most powerful message of all, I think. Just kind of like it's time to relax and stop and smell the roses kind of a thing. What, what I'm feeling. Irene, oh my gosh, waiting on sizable settlement. They won't give it up. You will get it. I guess that was a message for you. And Barbie, headquarters, they're trying to settle but need to find out. You guys, this, this is our message is for you. Okay, so this is amazing. This is amazing. I have never seen it like I mean, like I mean, with this many people, I never did a kind of like, wow, I'm shocked. Okay, great. So let's continue. Message is about you not worrying about money, going to visual today, funeral next week, case still on the wrist. Oh my god, can you guys see that? Are you guys having shivers? This is like amazing. Yeah, Barbie. You guys are going to get it. Like, I mean, like, I was, like, wondering, why do we get so many legal things? Why do we do that? We do that. Like, I mean, and now I see it. Why? So, hey, and I want to know. I want to hear about it, guys. So, let me have a sip of a coffee. And then we are going to move into Cancer. Cancer, you're next. Cancer. 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 Thank you, Irene. Cancer, Cancer, Zelma, am I first time seeing you here? I don't remember that name, it's a cute name. And then we have the Hierophant reversed. It's very similar to the priest that we had over there. Ooh, we have extra cards. Then we have Ace of Cups, then we have like Three of Swords, and Death. Whoa, Cancers. What kind of mess did you get yourself into it? This is like all over the place. It's absolutely like, I mean, maybe you have been into something unconventional. Maybe you have been dealing a deal that hasn't been sealed and you thought it was, but somebody else was not clarifying entirely, etc., 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 right? Oh my gosh, Neural Light, was the murder? It was the murder. Oh my God. I'm so sorry to hear this. Yeah, this Mars, uh, Mars and Scorpio is also extremely strong and it's extremely uncomfortable. And if you did, you know, like, it, you just think about it, that the ruler Scorpio is ruled with Mars. It's also ruled with Pluto. And Pluto is one of those planets that kind of like they see you dying. You fell into like, I mean, I don't know, some boo-boo. They see you kind of like falling in and they're like looking at you and thinking, hmm, I can save this person, that's for sure. All I need to do is reach out and they will be saved. But I can leave them and they will die. I have that power. It's not about you. So that's kind of like what Mars Scorpio is. So keep in mind like the energies are really high. Like very similar here, we have Scorpio making an appearance over here, right? The card death is represented, uh, representing their sign. It's uh, talking exactly that. I can do anything for you. And it's really interesting when I see this communication, um, 
over here because it's really talking there is like some kind of like level of jealousy there is a three-party situation over here there is somebody who is very much in love there is like somebody who is very innocent over here there is somebody who is not telling the truth somebody who is possibly saying well no 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 my relationship is over but it isn't somebody is not telling the truth about it and you cannot base um, your decisions on what they are saying because again they're not being uh, candid with you over here so three of swords is really talking about a tangled up situations where you maybe have too many fingers in a pie kind of a thing and everybody has their say everybody's pulling their way so when the relationships turn into nightmare instead of like feeling comfort that you kind of like want to come to your partner and want to kind of like feel it's a place to fall instead you're feeling oh my gosh i have to fight for this person or something is not right or there are issues right so let me get gypsy card over here and see what is this behind us and having a child well the hierophant can actually represent marriage and it, this also can mean end of a marriage and something that you hoped it would not end something that you hoped would stay or maybe it could be temporarily that you're getting together and then immediately as soon as you get together like i mean one day is good the next day like and the hell breaks loose again kind of a thing that would work out child is a interesting card it's like not really self-explanatory i mean it certainly uh if your child bearing age it could mean this and i really hope this mean doesn't mean this because it could mean that this child is not going to necessarily survive right here in this combination uh but you know this technically means you know that was a love story that somebody is reviewing there's like somebody who is you know looking for something that has existed and now sh almost like very much like death change form from embryo to basically child so there's like somebody who you knew there is like maybe a new beginning with someone who you had issues with whom you had something unconventional and you really hope for it but then again you cannot come to the same page with this person so it's really about initiatives that are maybe um shut down maybe you're really trying very hard maybe somebody's trying very hard to make this go and anywhere you go you're kind of like finding obstacles so i believe this is a key card over here because if you guys want to continue with this unconventional way it's going to continue being the way it is if you guys want to stabilize and want this love that i see that you do then move away from this like totally you need to move away from this like this is like harmful and it's really really not good for you so i really hope this really kind of like helps and moves forward so leo my dear leo you will be next so leo 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 and you are the sign i was mentioning in the beginning i i did like a minority parts of uh the annuals i'm not going to give more than that i'm just telling you like what they've seen so far is fabulous so if you guys didn't order yet do order it but even the other signs are really good as well so it's kind of neat i need to start like i mean putting them all together assembling them editing them so leo what do you have you have lots of messages jumping out so you have ace of swords so ace of swords is really good it's a karma card it's like look this is the gordian knot like there is like cutting off it like this is the only way to get through it is to cut through it and we have all these chakra colors we have almost like a snake but we see this is like actually a knot something kind of like really well put together um then oh my gosh you also have son of son of wands and the hangman over here I, I really think it could be dual energy from what I see. I mean, kind of like you want to move forward, but you still want to keep your walls up, right? You want to get active over here, over something, but maybe you feel there is like no collaboration. Like, right, the hangman, look at this, he's being stuck over here, right? But you still feel that somehow there is like somebody who is observing you. There is like some weird energy going, uh, going up around you. So you have to understand, like you have to, you have to realize that there is no perfect situation in life. You need to keep going. You, you need to keep going no matter what. So 
this is some kind of like entanglement like i mean this is clearly telling you cut the freaking cord and i think you will do that i really do think you will do that that's why you have sun and wands so you burst out and then you get a little bit afraid because the hangman kind of like talks about somebody is putting you in a position sometimes we put ourselves in this position especially when you're higher spirit higher level uh, then you're going to say, okay, well, you know, let me see how you see that. Let me see why you see it. It doesn't mean that you're saying you're right, no. But people interpret it that way, and then that invites bullies, right, when they see that, because they don't understand you are just trying to figure out what's going on. So, but there is like this change of perspective that is happening, and that might actually be really, really good. So it's going to be really interesting over here. So let me get... Uh, let's just see what we see over here. Let's see. Gift. Well, gift is a good card, and it's probably music to your ears. I mean, clearly, literally means gift, right? So it could be something that you'll receive, but that again, you see, if I didn't see this card, I would say you would win something but this card again blocks you in so you see that's the problem with the walls that we have when we have the walls that energy cannot come toward us that's why maybe this change of perspective is a really good thing because it's going to tell you wait a minute am i going to kind of close myself into this i don't want to do it this is a really good omen card right guys and this card is interestingly enough pointing out to these gemstones which we now have to help us in this reading right we kind of like have this glorious presence of a sword so that can be a gift of change between lovers it could start feeling happiness start feeling lightness start feeling that you know hey you know you're merging with a partner on different levels you know of course initially we merge on some romantic level which is in my opinion the lowest level and intimacy but then you start moving toward, you know, those, I guess, social and economic and, like, I mean, uh, emotional benefits, which basically would be reason the etra, kind of like if you really think about it. So just make sure here, like, if you are the one receiving the gift, there are no strings attached because, you know, somebody might be trying to manipulate you, may maybe because they realize you taste some kind of freedom or you taste something or, or you you're about to find something this is the card of victory so it's it's really interesting this kind of like came through first so it's it's really really good so all right let's do this neuralay like i mean this kind of arguments i heard oh my gosh i had one and i heard like over the last few days it was just like crazy it was crazy people are just like losing their minds so the next one is virgo so my dear virgo let's see what we have virgo this one wanted to jump you have daughter of pentacles that's a lovely lovely card and lovely energy so i really like this kind of like rainbow on it and uh, what is this called fawn right so that we have like intrigued with life intrigued with the possibility and this is kind of like about learning about um, absorbing things around you it is slow moving energy but hmm, there is lovers and there is of cups maybe you have been studying somebody for a while guys is that possible that there is somebody who could be i guess an earth sign uh, air sign or water sign but kind of like maybe you were standing on the sidelines of some kind of like sort and kind of like studying someone and this might take off uh in this week because the lovers clearly means that like hey you know it's going to feel good. You're going to kind of go in a good direction. And lovers is this choice where we are making, where we are really enjoying it. And this again says, somebody's asking you on a date. Let's get together. You're asking somebody on a date. It kind of like works both ways. Um, 
in particular you could also talk about cancer and gemini's guys that i'm uh, picking up over here this is actually really nice energy it's a gentle energy it's loving energy whoo you're going to have a good week guys virgo like i mean no news is a good news in your case like this is all lovely it's bursting with this energy and i really like here how like this glistens and it's kind of creating all these things and this one came through and came scholar ha huh, that's very similar to daughter of pentacles it reversed i guess <laughs> you caught yourself a little bit too much in your analytical loop and you were kind of like maybe overly studious overly wondering like why you should be with someone or shouldn't be maybe this talks about reunion of some sort uh scholar to me is like obviously a lonely dude in tights sitting in a big library right but it's good like he's somebody who's trying to get to the bottom of the issue somebody who's trying to uh figure it out i mean when he's upright um, especially when I read for relationships, it will tell me there is a crisis in a relationship of some sort, right? But this also tells me that there is a hesitancy of re-engaging in, in activities. Maybe there was like something that you're looking back that somebody was like rude or illogical or even let's say uncivilized, right? That kind of like that you don't want to tolerate this kind of arrogant behavior anymore. This could be at work. And it could be that you're dealing with people who are simply not, um, like, responding. Like, you know, like, do you ever, like, call customer service and you ask them one question? Like, what is your name? <laughs> For example, do you have a supervisor? And it, they just ignore you. And they just keep talking over you, which kind of, like, just makes you more mad. And maybe that was, like, this kind of, like, conflict because usually the lovers is also talking about these directions that kind of like need to kind of like come together again so there is like this coming together after some kind of like respite but this also could mean that you guys maybe kind of need to start like i mean emerging from whatever you kind of decide to be in for your safety it is time to move forward whether or not somebody's not going to be perfect guys that's for sure that's what they said don't over analyze this kind of like this is didn't go in a good direction so all right so you guys want your um cards want to ask a question or should i do or should i do more did, did you see more orbs uh so what do you want barbie you're running the show on on the forum so tell me what do you prefer i'm going to have a sip of coffee uh, in the meantime Oh, that's a good coffee. I don't know, it takes a few minutes for you to hear it. So hopefully she's hearing. Or you guys can give me your two cents as well. Nobody? Nobody? Nobody's talking? Your ex talked to him yesterday. Wow, you see? That's basically what it is. Doors. Okay. See, God has spoken, so we are going to do doors. So is this this one? I think it's this one. Let's put it up. Let's turn this on. So I'm turning this on, guys. So um, right now I'm going to pull three cards for those of you who haven't been here in a while. You think of it, of a question you want answered, as it says. I'm going to shuffle these cards. And I'm going to give you the answer. Make it short. I'm not going in really in depth over here. Okay. I have these three cards over here. So let's see what let's see what they are hiding over here. So the first card. The first card, the answer is yes. The answer is like you're very hopeful. You are really wishing something is uh, going forward. You may be wishing for healing. You are maybe wishing for merging of something. Um, maybe it felt like it's not possible that you're in a tunnel, that you're in the dark. And so suddenly it kind of like starts to feel, oh my goodness, I'm getting this after... You kind of decide this is none of, none of that is happening. 
door number two four of pentacles that can be a partial success but not in a way that you hoped and again look at him he's whole especially if this was a love question he's holding this pentacle right in front of his heart chakra and it's mine and he's guarding himself so somebody is very reserved so if for example you ask for a union and actually i'm just seeing this actually does look like a heart here if you're asking for a union somebody's going to say well i'm willing to talk about it but i'm not sure kind of like right that 50 50 proposition over here this also tells me that there is like something that you need to work on in order to kind of like move this forward it's really really important to push it forward so also if you need protection if it was like a question of protection of some sort or money keep money close to your chest don't overspend because you might need it in the future and the door number three well you have the empress reversed and i would say that can be a, a little bitchy attitude of some sort the empress reversed is not necessarily a person who is realistic so this is really telling you at this time you need to self-nurture you you need to turn entire energy toward yourself and protect yourself from the people who might be let's say psychic intrusions negativity in your life because i feel there is a drain this also could mean that some of you have issue with a third party and this uh, yet you ask this question if that's the case you are not going to move forward this third party is keeping a really strong hold on the person that you're inquiring about well at least for this week and that's what i was um, asking so irene this is a settlement so for this week is still going to this does talk about money because this is ruling Taurus, it's Venus ruled over here. It, it is about uh, fine details over here. So somebody is going to create, uh, it's going to be drama queen kind of like a week, but it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. This is like also not definite answer. We have major here, but at the same time, it's not going to happen this week. So there you go. That's what I see. Kelsey, I asked Spirit for card number one to be stuck. Oh my gosh. If the answer to my question was yes. Good good for you. Oh my gosh, guys. Like I'm so amused. Like we are all we are all gelling. Like this is kind of like working. I'm feeling really, really good energy. And now it's Barbie's sign. Libra is next. You guys should kind of like thank Barbie from time to time. She is like always here she helps me so much she kind of like is the one who posts the stamps and like i mean keeping this on on focus like i've been telling me hey you have to do that because she knows i'm forgetful so just send her hugs and kisses okay so let's see libra 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 lab so Zelma, i ask about my ex if he's open for consolations on the 50 50. so you see Libra, you're having the Eight of Cups. Whoa, what an interesting card over here. Libra. Yeah, we love you, Barb. And then we have Five of Cups. What's going on here? Like, it's almost like day and night or night and day here. Isn't this like, can't you see this contrast? Well, I have Libra Ascendant. So, and actually my biggest enemy in life is a woman who is a Libra. How's that? actually two two of them who are libras well, libras are very nice but you know and i can see that from my ascendant but they can also go fly off the handle i have sun of wands so there's like something here libra brewing that i really don't like you're coming back to some old issues you're going to have some old wounds open and don't drink from it like literally that's what i see when i see it over here right so this eight of cups is about that ambiguous card in the other decks you will see person leaving but here there's like nothing left in the other decks it kind of has a little bit different meaning i always go with what i see in the card right and that's why i'm so picky about my decks because if i don't get enough i don't see the point so here i, I actually really see that hey like i mean what's the point of me being around here like it's all broken what's the point so maybe something has been really broken in your life maybe something has not been functioning of some sort 
it's an eight so you might be dealing with leo or you might be dealing with aquarius because they resonate to that number right and it's coming back some old issues are resurfacing because the five of cups is kind of like feeling let down feeling you know that there's like something lost feeling loss of words at a very kind of like a basic level but it's going to be that funk that you're going to fall into for a while uh, just attribute this to the winter blues if you're in northern america right the people in the south they're like going to work to summer and they're like celebrating and we're like oh no i have to buy these boots and coat etc so let me see uh, like what more information i can i can get <laughs> you did it kylie <laughs> okay good for you oh my gosh look at this i have reconciliation so yes this can mean coming back something then you have doctor um this this would relate to me to five of cups it kind of can talk about depression and look at this, the wedding is reversed so i don't know maybe some of you guys have been in, in some kind of like therapy in some kind of reconciliation have been talking about maybe there is a third party here like a cfo and see waiting and you're trying to figure out how certain things will evolve and revolve i don't like the wedding reversed i really don't even though in this particular deck the wedding is not as romantic as we consider marriages and weddings like today right so as you can see here is like just basically two people just give me this freaking ring right so it's kind of like ceremonial more than anything else right so here is like really talking that talking about fate when it reverses and it's really talking about maybe there's like some love that is impossible that it could be really painful but it could be very fiery at times over here right so it can talk about also that something is getting cancelled like this uh sorry this is not re not reconciliation it's a conversation pardon my eyes um Maybe you're, you're like contacting your friends and you are talking to your friends about things and trying to check with them what works, what doesn't work. It could be some kind of like obstacles. Guys, this also can talk about a romance. It could be clandestine romance and it has kind of like no rhyme or reason. It's a romance that maybe leads nowhere. So keep that in mind. Uh, but at the same time, it's really, really fun it could be really really sexy because like when i ever see this page of because like i see the waiting as the last one so this is like i'm getting the sense of like i'm getting a visual of a revolving door and this revolving door for some reason my visual looks like an hourglass which is telling me that there is like a person who comes in and out of your life but it's also the person who does have some kind of karmic influence like from the past lives right and there's like something that you need to learn so you know what they say like the relationship exists for a reason season or lifetime well this one is a reason that they see and this one in particular wanting to jump you see it's a wedding so yeah it is like something that goes up and up and down for you and um i don't know you you are going from emotional maybe emotions are bogging you down in the situation and you need to kind of like push things forward like some of the ones is good and some of the ones is almost like somebody who all of a sudden like you you let's say you're in the middle of the crying and then you say f you i'm not going to do this anymore and i'm not going to allow anybody to put me down and all of a sudden you're energized uh, like adrenaline is kicking in and you're like feeling all good about it so something like that could be happening right so it's it's kind of like really uh really kind of like what can be pushing forward right so okay so i dealing with the leo libra reading resonates good good to hear it sally all issues never been resolved to lies well i'm not going to talk about your situation publicly but um yeah i'm still not seeing uh things kind of like coming through here and let's continue frustrated with somebody who's being childish yeah some people are peter pans right they never kind of like really grow up so we are going in order so the next one is and i guess i to put a wrong stamp over here for some reason and i cannot even delete it can i i can so let's go with scorpio scorpio let's see what is in the store for you 
that's a very powerful sign, Scorpio. Very, very powerful. And we can only hope they're going to use those powers for the good. Because if they use them for the good, um, I mean, sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. But if they use them for bad reasons, it's extremely destructive, as I told you initially, right? So, you know, Kylie... The older we get, and I don't know, ladies, gentlemen, what ages you are. I mean, like, I'm in my mid-40s, so no spring chicken. I was like, yesterday, I took a selfie of me. And I said, oh, my God, when did I age this much? But I said, oh, that's okay. That's okay. You have to love yourself, no matter who you are, right? So, and then you kind of, like, say, yeah, yeah, you know what? We just have to keep moving forward. Have, have this, like, as you say, honesty. And it's kind of, like, applicable towards yourself as well. So, my dear Scorpio, nothing is... Oh, there it is. I was nothing is coming. I have the hangman, and you have the chariot. Okay. You have strong, strong reading. And then, there it be light. That's what I heard. And this is not sun card. But, interestingly enough, also, it's actually a moon card. And that's why we see the crescent moon here on his uh, forehead. Interestingly enough, he has the pentacle, this gorgeous freaking horse. I love horses. But we are going from this dark and night vision to tremendous light and sun is in your back. So there is like this huge energy. You guys maybe have been stifled. Maybe there was a situation where you needed to understand it, like because the hangman ultimately, and I don't know which car, which sign this was that I was explaining, it could, it, yeah, it does talk about change of perspective, but it could be forced, uh, forced, forced perspective on you. It could be that you're involved into something that you, as you can see, is a little pretty bad. He cannot do much. He's stuck in. His wings are wrapped around him, right? It's kind of like self-hug. Uh, maybe it was a nourishing time, and like maybe it's it's time to get out of your cocoon this was like also this feels so good when it comes for scorpio right because not every card is working well with every sign and this works really well for you and it's really telling me this is also because you have major arcanas there is a message happening for you for the next month and it's going to be uh possibly the last month when you will feel, as I said, stifled, when you feel that you cannot spread your wings and fly, that there's like something in a way, because charity is like this abundant energy where you're fighting for what you want, you're pushing it forward, and that, that actually can talk about a huge speed forging ahead. So that is really, really important. Hi, George. You have Venus, Mars, and Neptune in Scorpio. Ooh. Should they block you right now? <laughs> Look at his Libra rising, Sun and Mercury in 12th house. I have so many planets in my 12th house, it's not even funny. I have actually Mars in my 12th house. I have Pluto in my 12th house. So just to tell you, like this is why I have all these psychic kind of visions. But that's a very strong what he's saying. So I really hope you're using your powers for for the good. And that's why you got possibly liberalizing. That at least you don't scare people, right? So that's really important. So let's see. What other message is here for Scorpio? What other message is here for Scorpio? Scorpio. And you have money, but this money card was reversed. Actually, this card to me is really never about money. I know they named this card money, and it's kind of like really weird. Um, but look, when I look at this card, don't you guys see that there's like this safe? Clearly it's open, and some of them do have kind of like nominations, and we see the key opening it. But we also have books over here right what else do i see there's the money there are jewelries and to me this is more or less talking about secrets so it would make sense that i'm getting this basically card for you right 
this card definitely talks about let's say anything that involves transaction of money directly or indirectly so for example this can also indicate marriage or some inheritances right or winning lottery but also luck but it was reversed so it is signifying some kind of loss over here so be very careful that in, you're not spending money in vain maybe like i mean you're just saying well you know it's christmas coming i have to do this i have to do that so you know this and this card kind of like can tell me there is like some kind of period of stagnation you might be going through this december which it can even feel like you know maybe even a hardship or maybe you got some kind of funding and then you're having some issues about that so or for example somebody gets inheritance and then even before they actually claimed that they squatted it and you know and now like nothing is left so be very careful about that be very frugal this is really a, advice is to be frugal but as you're a Scorpio, I guess you're going like, hey, okay, I can lose all of it. It's fine. I'm Scorpio. I am going to rise from the ashes and I'm going to be this phoenix. And that's why you see that. That's why I see the chariot going forward and pushing it uh, in a new direction. Just to have to tell you, there are two major arcanas and this can take a while to recover, possibly until September of the next year. So just keep that in mind. There it goes, 11-11 for you guys. Oh, you just turned 47 again. Yay! 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 It's another 11. 4 and 7 is 11. So, the next one is Sagittarius, guys. And it's 1-11-11. It's 1-11-11. This is, like, going to be tagged for Sagittarius. So, let's see. Sagittarius are going to get some specific messages seemingly over here. So... So let's see, let's see, Sagis, daughter of swords, Uli moly, look at this pretty owl, pretty owl, this one wants to come out, oh the web we weave, huh, somebody just told me and I forgot which president this was. I believe it was Churchill or Roosevelt, one of those two. You might guys know this better, uh, especially American history, that somebody had this story about a spider and that, that somebody was watching the spider kind of like doing this net meticulously, slowly, intensely. And hence this person realized, well, you know, I just have to keep doing this. I just have to keep putting things together and eventually things will be built. So that's kind of like what crossed my mind. And it's really interesting what I see, almost like these two cards are very similar, right? Even though this is a sunburst, this is also almost looking like a sunburst, which is kind of like being put together over here, right? So I, I feel, guys, here that... Um, you have been going through some kind of like harsh times. Daughter of Swords is like not good. Maybe you have been on the edge. Um, maybe you're trying to rebuild. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo, right? Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo over here. Maybe you're dealing with an air sign. That's all kind of like showing it over here. Um, sorry, Barbie, is this a question for me? Um, I... I really, oh gosh, I guess having a red light here. This is like, hopefully you guys seeing, let me just refresh this for a second. So hopefully the refresh is better for you as well. Is it coming? No, it's the same crap. Hopefully it's going to fix on its own. So what I'm seeing here, guys, is that like, I mean, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, but like, I mean, you really need to work at it. There are like some issue that really needs meticulous looking under every stone, like, I mean, crossing all your T's, dotting all your I's. 
it's going to be very important and going to be some harshness and sharpness that i see over here happening right lot of swords is like this page of swords it could be like i mean that somebody's checking you uh watching you following you it is kind of like having this kind of stuff this really uh connects to social media so you need to look at the details the sun card is really good that is kind of like landing on on a foot unless you're just dealing with a leo then you're definitely you need to collaborate with that leo quite a bit otherwise it would mean that you are finally kind of like starting to feel a little bit better you're starting to feel that y you're coming back let's say to life that this core of life that you're getting your confidence back that kind of like stuff so it's going to be really interesting uh, yeah, that would be really interesting for Sagittarius Moon over here because it could feel uh, lots of emotional triggers actually this week. In fact, it could even lash out a little bit. So let's see. Let's see. And that's right. We are going through Sagittarius season. Happy birthday to Sagis. Thanks for reminding me. And there you go. Joyfulness. So guys, yeah, you know what? I think it's going to be um, that energy like at the end anyhow well interestingly this card also can talk about third party but bizarrely this also talks about hey you know it kind of like it feels right <laughs> oh you have a leo moon i have a leo moon george you and i have leo moon and libra uh, raising so it's kind of really interesting because your scorpio sun which is a very strong and a Aquarius sun which is also very strong and we have 12 house Kind of like looks like spiritual twin flames so guys this also tells me there is some kind of relief something really good is going to happen over here there's like something spontaneous is going to happen maybe something that was very tedious is going to kind of like burst in is going to start feeling better so it's going to be good time in the relationships right so this is i guess combination is telling me that it was like something that was like pushing you down and that you are going to have that strength and resources to kind of like really get through the situation so you need to be very grateful there is like something about destiny about this combination so um you actually will have some kind of reason to be joyful so this is actually really really good right so just keep this in mind all right so where are we getting into where are we are getting into yeah guys did you like this did you like this we have like special visitors today not only these people online but like all these orbs did they f continue to fly or no anymore so the next one is capricorn 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 yes harriet i did leo and i'm doing signs in order so you're going to be able to see it when it uploads so it's going to be within an hour so you can see it or i don't know if you have any leo over here on, on chat maybe you want to give the quick and short uh, download of what happened whoa look at this eight of swords no that would be sorry that, ooh, that would be eight of wands pardon me <gasps> oh this is lovely look at this thunder coming in and cracking a fire and then there is no dark anymore so capricorn <laughs> of course there's like something um uh, that almost like looks like lovey-dovey uh capricorns honestly honestly i see sex i feel sex over here but i also feel that you're not fully at ease with the person you are with like look at this one i open literally right over here but nonetheless it feels good you're kind of like really attracted to this person from what i see son of pentacles is really good card over here and i really think this really talks about you and i really think you're a little bit puzzled because there's like something about someone that you love a lot that you love them to bits you like to hold their hand you like to do stuff but the moment when you're not with them like there is like almost like dread that enters you and you you have hesitation about this and you're trying to mull it in your own head which way to go and i really think with son of pentacles 
you kind of like realize there is realization of that you need to be strong and no matter what is coming outside you will be able to handle it and this is really really important son of pentacles is really um a card um, that also can sometimes talk about decision to propose decision to go in a new direction but it's kind of like a little bit conflicting over here i think it will be too sudden because they're like still uncertainty of some kind of level this also can mean two different things this could mean that this is like your love life and this is your work life um that you are kind of dealing with people who are enemies or people who don't deal you well um look at this you've got malady reversed right so malady is to me more or less about depression right to me like i just consider like november and december depressive months right with everything i mean guys we had this like freezing over here and finally it's like now almost like spring light weather outside but this came reversed right so it becomes very positive so this is healing and i really think that this kind of like comes together right so in the case of relationship for example the parties are coming to their senses and you know they're resolving these issues maybe after all it was just misunderstanding of some kind of like sort maybe oh you just want to jump my bones and blah, 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 right like i mean so no actually i just don't even feel i have to defend myself on this kind of argument right so if kind of like you have been literally sick or lonely or unemployed for example then this shows not only will you move forward but this is going to be really good direction in which you're heading you're on the right path keep tapping in in that direction so yeah when i uh, was looking for tiger i pulled a normand out so what was the first card i'm trying to remember i know the second one was key oh the ring the first card was the ring i said yes i'll find him and then the second one was key which was also like i mean it's the, i'm unlocking i'm finding him it's all good but it really didn't tell me how and that was my question will i find him how will i find him and then i pulled one more card and the third card was letter so it meant so i will not find him looking around i will find him through uh somebody sending me a letter text email and that's exactly what happened. I got a text. Tiger was last seen at this address. If I were you, I would check every backyard in the area. And I went to that 47 of that street, and he was at 49. And that's how it happened. Exactly. So, my dear brothers and sisters, Aquarius, do we have any Aquarius over here? You are next. So, let's see. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, oh, and we got the star, guys, we are the stars, it's a whole bunch of cards over here, and I guess I have to read them in this order, because it's culminates with the stars, so we have Mother of Cups, we have Ten of Cups, can it get any better than that, then we have Temperance, then we are dealing with Lovers, the Lovers and the Star, Oh my goodness, like I'm, I'm feeling honestly a little bit overwhelmed over here with all these messages. Oh, let me first go with kind of like housekeeping. Yes, it could talk about, I guess, um, earth signs, water signs, Scorpio, oh, pardon me, Sagittarius, Gemini, or Aquarian energy which can mean our own energy. It can really talk about healing. It can talk about emotional satisfaction. It talks about gentleness, the people kind of like giving us this like nice feeling of being there for us. It also talks about the choices. I also see this combination as somebody from the past possibly coming through and somebody from the past because it could have been involvement with someone where the healing had to take place of some reason which kind of like maybe on the surface doesn't make sense but maybe there were like a couple of options that, that that have been possible look at all these connections that we see here like i mean they're like interlacing with each other but now we here see them bursting out and here we see them all merging and meshing to create something really wonderful so 
this week it basically tells us that we need to be patient that we are on the right path we are going in the right direction we are going to feel supported um, things will jive uh, all the stars will line up it pretty much this is as good as it gets guys um, it's going to feel um, you're going to get grounded you're going to feel supported but we are going to be also able to do a lift off of some kind of like sort over here so it's very very important to know so let's see here yeah waiting this is this patience and there is like this constancy over here so it's it's reversed and to me this is kind of like a highly pragmatic card which i'm not completely sure how it fits in this reading i don't think more no that's it um it is like somebody who is kind of like taking things brick by brick and i guess possibly is kind of like reflecting the same thing patience 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 just kind of like you know it's very very important to uh, to do this so when it's reversed it can talk about inconsistency like you're doing something for three days but then you abandon it right so it can talk about you know lack of commitment which kind of look like i was picking up on it that was some kind of entanglement that is now bursting out maybe at the very least there's some kind of karmic cord that are being released over here right so anything that maybe was a missed opportunity be it love or friendship or a job just proceed with caution because this really looks like that there's a full cycle uh, and that is coming through it and we just have to keep going because there was a reason why we went through certain things and we need to push things forward and that's kind of like where we need to go so the star our card coming through it we clearly have like the spirit guides coming here and saying um yeah you know you're good you're good to go just don't rush things which we know we have this electrical energy we want everything to done in a nanosecond but with patience and with uh consistence things are going to get ahead in a big way and this week so this is very very important so i really hope this is helping jupiter and aquarius so for you, Zelma, you'll be always getting unexpected things. Fortune for you is not going to be something that you acquire. You might inherit, it might just come at you, it might be a lottery win, that kind of sort of things with that. It's really interesting. So, Pisces, you're last in today's reading. So it sucks to be the last sign, but I mean, there is a reason because you have had all these layers kind of like built inside of you. So that's really, really important. So let's see what we see here for you, Pisces, 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 Pisces. The Saturn is different. When you look like Aquarius, that means that you don't look like regular people. Like, I mean, all these signs and uh, planets, like, it's lots of variations in that, right? So, you might probably like turquoise color or blue color or gray or silver that seem to be favorite uh, for Aquarius in the house, number one. Yeah, Jupiter and Aquarius in the 12th house. So, very mystical quality. And again, she will have issues getting lucky she needs to overcome some old uh, past lives issues in order to unlock this jupiter because Phil house is a house of prison this is where you have things that you really need to work on and it's usually if you have lots of planets you are really advanced spiritual being which doesn't mean much to us because we don't like prison <laughs> kind of a thing right so pisces you have seven of cups there's lots of daydreaming it does sound like you and there you have another one, Seven of Pentacles. What is with the Sevens? So I think spirits, honestly, I'm starting to feel it in my tummy. I think you're getting your communications here. And then you're having, uh, and it's eight, it should be 11. You're having just this card over here. It's uh, also about patience. It's also about positioning. It is also about your visions what you want where you want to go how you want to get there right it is also about balancing act 
it's also like uh, you're not going to destroy anybody you're not going to own anybody but you need to get ahead with making concessions with negotiating with interchanges of some kind of like swords this also tells me that this could be issues and that I, I mean, you're the sign of all kinds of addictions. You're also the sign of past lives. You're also the sign of pre-birth. So I see some addictions over here. I do see um, also um, that you're going to kind of like land on your feet over certain things that you were uncertain up to this week, how to move forward. This can be as simple as, let's say, finances and some kind of investments and what you sign up for, who do I go with, you know, like, I mean, this doesn't have to be, this is after all only weekly reading, but it could be as big as um, legal issues or something that has been going in a good direction and finally it's kind of like putting the foot down and it's kind of like being sealed, right, with the justice card coming through. So let's see kind of like what, what basically is. So see your hair is blue. <laughs> I told you guys. You guys, like, I mean, don't question me. Young woman reversed. Was there interference in your relationship? Was there somebody who was, like, immature? I mean, this can talk about lots of things. It can be your daughter, it can be sister, cousin, could be that you have a younger lover over here. But it could be kind of like damsel in distress. And you know, like, I mean, this proverbial <coughs> characteristics, how they kind of want to paint our females. I would rather be caught dead than be damsel in distress kind of a thing, right? So, generally, this card would really talk about flirtation flirtation but it's reversed so i clearly this talks about lack of maturity right and maybe frivolity maybe you know um maybe you started something maybe like you had too many ideas and now you need to ground them and some of them you need to cut off kind of a thing so maybe just have a friend who is unreliable and you're getting rid of them because the justice card here which is one of the karma cards is coming here so your spirit guides are sending you messages especially if you're dealing with somebody immature or younger or somebody who um, who is preventing you of kind of like going up on the scales of your dreams to kind of like start looking at things completely differently right so that's interesting yeah my life path is 11 George and my uh, expression is also 11 so that sounds interesting well that is like for today uh, I can have one more doors that we can have more questions um, if you guys have any question for me like this is a time to do that because after this I'll be jumping in my car and grabbing a Mr. Tiger with me and we are going to get some food. We're going to get some lunch. Yesterday, um, friends of mine uh, took me to Korean barbecue. And that was my first time that I did that. That was like a really amazing experience. You actually barbecue at your table. So it was lots of food. We were like sitting there for three hours and eating. And I mean three hours, not waiting for the food because we are baking. We are, we are barbecuing the food. So it's interesting. So, let's see. Message for the room. Okay, let's do the message for the room. Message for the room. What do I do for messages for the room? Let me grab my Earth, Earth Oracle for this. I think that would possibly help. Hi, Kepler. Hello, Kepler. And of course, I don't know where I put, I, I see it, I found it, I think, I hope, I hope. No. I didn't, but then I'll, I'll grab these ones, these guys. And let's see the message for the room. Message for the room, this is just for those of us currently present. I'll actually have two messages. One is Dragon's Lair, it's reversed. Another one is Talisman. 
and one is 19 one is 49 when I kind of like glanced at it and the Sun went over it almost looks like 19 so how come that I have two 19s in a, in a deck but let's see what they tell us what are the messages over here so let's start with 19 it was reversed it says Red flags shouldn't be ignored. Don't be seduced into learning a lesson that will hurt your heart. Temptation and intrigue abound, but be careful because you can't win this particular challenge. Heed this gentle warning about wanting and longing and the fantasy of belonging to someone, something, or an identity that has no true substance or longevity. Ignore this alarm and you'll wander in circles near the edge of a dragon's lair. Choose another path, for your treasures lies elsewhere. Hmm. So we need to redefine where we are going, I guess. And let's see what Talisman says. A lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. You have all you need for the success you seek. Wisdom allows you to recognize traps on the road and familiar patterns that you want to avoid. It also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on your journey. It helps you recognize your allies and know how to find the best routes along the way. Now you're at a place where you know the right things to do and the best choices to make. You really can't commit a mistake. Let me repeat that. You really can commit a mistake, guys. You see, we got the messages. We are protected. Whatever your inquiry, great fortune awaits you, for you have the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. You learned your lessons and earned the right to your success. That's amazing, especially if you have been going through these icy periods and unknown, and where is the path to take? Now we are getting it. We are being directed, divinely directed. So... This is pretty, pretty cool, I really think. So, yeah, guys, the annuals, the, thank you, Barbie, uh, for this, uh, reminding me. Uh, the price is still there until I start assembling them. When I start assembling them, then I'm pulling it off, and it's going to go up. So thank you for those of you who ordered already. And, guys, yeah, this is actually fun. You get to be guided throughout, throughout the year, and you can go back to it and look into it, and it keeps refreshing this. So... I wish everybody uh, the rest of Cater Day to be beautiful. And I want to thank the spirits for being here. This was like lovely. We're getting all this energy. Oh my gosh, I've, I really felt I was guided. And I actually just realized that, I mean, this kind of like does look like heart. And it is just amazing. Like this, this stone has like this ridiculous energy. So it's going to be our friend during these lives. So that's really good to go so my dear barbie i'll send you this email as usual how do you order oh that's a good question you go to oh you, you have it in the description but i'm going to put you the link here you just go here and go with that so kylie um had a conversation about direction with someone yesterday double confirmation for me so you see that is that is really good to know maybe it felt like tapping in the dark not getting anywhere but it looks like we are going to push things forward thank you guys thank you everybody for being here uh hopefully you enjoyed your coffee with me and next time there is like no life because americans are doing their stuff I might actually post the kind of like short uh, video so we still have weeklies that you get something but then we are resuming when we are resuming on the 7th so yay we'll be in the christmas season it's going to be, get very busy but hopefully we're going to find time to kind of like grab a coffee and have a good cutter day so thank you guys and until the next time i wish you all the best let me play some music and then I look forward to the other people's comments as well. Love you, love you, love you, love you.